hamburgers sizzling on the grill, a common sight. And these hamburgers are still made from beef grown on the hoof. But that will soon change if Mark Post has anything to say about it. Wow, this is way too big. He's trying to revolutionize meat production by growing it in the laboratory. Well, I think what we, we will be better is that it has a, a smaller carbon footprint. Um, and it's, so it's better for the environment. And we need much less resources to actually uh, produce it so that we can produce much more meat with much less resources so that we can feed the entire planet. At Maastricht University in the Netherlands, Post has already begun to turn his vision into reality. He's actually a doctor by training and an expert on vascular tissue. Post first began to explore the idea of growing meat from cow muscle cells back in 2004. He and his team harvest stem cells from a piece of steak or from a living cow without slaughtering it. They stimulate the cells so they begin to multiply. Out of just a few cells, they can produce as much as 10 tons of beef. The in vitro meat looks just like ordinary ground beef. The researchers made their first cultured burger in 2013, but it wasn't for sale. In all, it cost 250,000 euros to produce. I just wanted to show it can be done. It's technologically feasible to do. Um, and by the way, there are also lots of reasons why we should do it. But flavor remains a problem. The cultured meat tastes dry because there's no fat in it. That's why Post wants to grow meat and fat cells together. There you go. Here we have a sample where we uh, create um, fat tissue. So these, these um, spaghettis are spaghettis of uh, fat cells. He says that in six years' time, the cultured hamburger could be on restaurant menus. The method could also be used to make lab-grown steaks, poultry, and pork. My personal vision is that at some point, you know, 20, 30, 40 years from now, we will all eat cultured beef, no longer from animals. And we'll probably look back at this time as sort of barbaric, that we still killed animals and used animals to such a degree for our meat consumption. If global meat consumption continues to soar, lab-grown meat might have to be on the market and on our tables even sooner than that.